Welcome to part two of the ultimate grip sock tier list. Now, if you haven't seen part one, please go and check that out. That has the big breakdown of what each tier exactly means. I'm not gonna do that again, it'll take five minutes and we have got a lot of grip socks to go through. I have about 100 pairs of socks now and we are going to try and rank every single one in our tier ranking system. If you want to buy any of these socks, please check the links down in the description or in the comments because that will tell you where you can go and buy them and at the best price that I could find them and if you click on those links, you buy your socks, you do help support the channel. But let's jump in. Doesn't affect how you buy anything. But... Right, 20 more socks. Let's go. What are these? Pachow. Okay, so these are the GT grip socks. And uh, one of the first things that I have to shout out, basically, is uh, the guy who created these, their CEO or whatever. He is so open to trying to innovate these to a point where he is really happy with them and he's constantly trying to improve i have three or four pairs of these you'll probably see them again another point in the video these do not have internal grips they are a crew sock with grips added and they do need some areas of improvement but overall the fit is actually very good the fit through the heel is good they come in different sizes which is really essential uh the breathability is good and the key point here is the, the way that the grips are arranged. They've actually taken a lot of time to try and work out exactly what the best orientation for grips is based on a heat map of where your foot makes contact with the floor. And I'll be honest, when I first got them, I was like, this isn't going to work. Like, it makes no difference whatsoever. And it's not perfect, um, especially because they have left out this middle section. Um, but overall... It does work and you can feel a difference. So for pure innovation, uh, trying to do something different and providing you with that crew sock with grips at a good standard, uh, the GT grip socks are gonna go into the Nike crew category. Um, I definitely rock these uh, over a pair of Nike crews or instead of a pair of Nike crews if they were in my bag, uh, just for the anatomical shaping, the innovation on the grips, the fact that it is a decent quality of sock, Improvements to be made, yes, but pretty pleased with those. And uh, yeah, they're worth checking out. Okay, next, what have we got here? Okay, this is a knockoff version of uh, this, uh, which is also a knockoff version of something else. Hold on a second. Okay, so what we have is kind of two knockoff variations of the genuine version which is a socks pro grip sock um so we'll look at the knockoffs first this is um another amazon buy these are tan stick something along those lines um grip socks again no grips on the inside they are over stretchy you don't get very much compression they don't really hold up uh they don't fit well in boots uh, the back rides up into the boot, uh, in up above your boot, which is one of the worst things that a sock can do. Uh, overall, for me, these aren't good enough, and the fact that they've taken the general design from something else is minus points for me. You're trying to ride the coattails of something that's well established. Uh, so these are going in moldy. I can't, I can't bear it. I can't stand it. These are moldy. However. We now have the Prem socks, which are a much more effective way of taking off the socks pro. So Prem socks were another Amazon buy. They were £10, which is half the price of the socks pro. Now, they're not as good as the socks pro, but they're close. They're definitely close. Um, so I'm pretty impressed. The uh, main issue or the problem is that these grip elements are more raised. So they're more effective, but that is actually to the detriment of the sock because it just feels a little bit intrusive. Now, we do have grips on the inside, which we don't get on the Socks Pro. So they've actually taken the Socks Pro and tried to improve it. Uh, the material isn't quite as good. Uh, it's not as soft, doesn't feel as nice, but it holds up pretty well. And for £10, 
I was quite impressed with these. Uh, now, with everything taken into account, they're still going to go into Nike Crew. Uh, but, again, an Amazon buy, I'll link it down below, well worth considering, especially if you don't mind uh, those kind of slightly more raised grip elements in the silicon, and with having those silicon elements on the inside, which some people don't like. But, for £10, they might be worth a shot. Uh, the Socks Pro are £20, and they have nicer material, um, they have better feeling grips, but no grips on the inside. I find that they run a little bit shorter, and overall, I think you overpay for Socks Pro because it's kind of a name. Uh, so these are also going to go into Nike Crew with all things considered. They're nice, but they're certainly not one of my one of my upper picks, one of my top picks. And I know that's probably going to upset a lot of people because I know a lot of people like these. And those lower profile grips are actually really nice. They don't feel as intrusive as some other silicon elements, but I don't think they do that much that's that special. Uh, so, Nike Crew for the Socks Pro 2. Oh, ho, ho, ho. these are special. These are special. These are, uh, this is another Amazon buy. Uh, you can get them elsewhere. These are the Drip Grip Socks. So, they have drip in big letters <laughs> across the top of the sock. And the grip elements are arranged like drips. And on the front, they say, express your game with an X. These are comfortably some of the worst grip socks I have ever tried in my life. They are trying to run off pure vibes and marketing and hope that people buy them. The fit on these is shocking. The material is so like smooth and silky. Um, it doesn't even feel nice and it just bunches up in the back of your heel. The fit is bad. The grip elements are horrible. They don't feel good on your feet. They don't stay up as socks. They're, they're just not good. Um, I don't like these at all. These are some of the my least favorite grip socks that I have ever worn. Uh, and unfortunately, these go into the moldy category. Um, and if for some reason you do want to buy a player, Amazon, again, links down below. All right, bringing out uh, the grip sock liner. Uh, this is the Storelli Grip Sock Liner. We definitely ranked this one before. I really love the idea of the Storelli Grip Sock Liner, um, which is these big pads that sit on the bottom of the sock and provide you with grip. It's uh, very, very seamless. Feels really good. Seamless. That's an unintended pun because the biggest problem with these grip socks is the seam. So they have internal grips as well. And that's all good, but there is seams everywhere. Seams that just get in your way, don't feel great. If they could sort these hundreds of bloody seams out, which also run, this one that runs across the top of the toe is so irritating when you're wearing it. If Storelli could sort this out, they would be an absolute banger of a grip sock. Now they don't run up particularly long. They are sold as a grip sock liner. But if they could sort out this kind of big seam stitching situation they've got on, uh, you'd end up with a really decent sock. Um, but so these are either going in Nike Crew or they're going to have to go into. You know what? I don't wear them and I won't wear them because they're the, the, the seams are too irritating. So I'm going to very harshly um, put them in cheesy because they've just got such a fundamental flaw. And they're potentially, so these are potentially foot fetish grip socks. If they could sort out the damn seams as it is, I'm going to put them in cheesy because I just can't wear them because the grips are so irritating. It's two great socks back to back there, isn't it? Okay. What's next? Uh, oh no, we've already, we've already, we've already done those. Where the hell did I put those? Those were the tan stick grip socks that I didn't like. Uh, all right. What have we got here? Oh, that's steps. We've done that too. Oh my god, I'm having a mare. Hold on, hold on. My system's gone to crap. Ah, here. Oh, more, more high, high quality grip socks. These are lion grip socks. And uh, I'd be lying if I told you they were good. I'll see myself out. I'm a dad now. I'm allowed to make dad jokes. 
Uh, these are not great. I don't particularly like them. I had decent enough hopes for them. Uh, no grips on the inside. A very standard construction. The grips on the outside are poor. And they don't particularly feel great underfoot. Uh, they cause the back of the sock to bunch up into your boots, particularly if you have a one-piece upper. Um, all of these socks have been tried with a one-piece upper just to see how they fit, how they got in and out of boots. Um, the material is okay. It's better than some of the other ones. Uh, it does have something more than just a crew sock with grip elements added. There does seem to be a little bit of innovation that's been added here. Uh, but overall not a sock that i particularly like or recommend i don't think they have a lot going for them um so these are going into the cheesy category would not wear these over a pair of nike crews and that's how you gotta think about it like nike crews no grips i would happily wear, wear those still a very good sock you don't have to have grip socks and um, i wouldn't wear these over a pair of nike crews what's next boom oh Oh, we've got Mizuno uh, grip socks. Now, these are the Mizuno Glide grip socks, if I remember correctly. Again, this is a Japan sock that was sent over to me by the Gaijin Boot Blog. These have only been worn once, so I don't have a huge amount of experience with them. Um, I've only had them once, but of what I've had them on for, oh, these are nice. Again, it's another toe sock. So you get individual toes, and again, the shape of your foot is going to be impactful here. But if you get the right size, these seem to fit quite nicely. Uh, you also get good grips. So the grips here are more on that silicon style, but the way they've been laid out with this four-foot pad, the individual toes, a nice amount of padding in the heel, and up the back of the heel, these are well worth considering if you can get your hands on them. There is also grip on the top of the sock, which isn't something that you see very often. Now, obviously it's the base that you want to stop moving around, but that idea is just to hold everything in place so you're not going anywhere. It's a bit of an addition. And overall, I like it. I think these are very good socks. They have a good technical material. Um, if the fit is good for you, these are worth considering, again, if you can get hold of them. And I'm going to put these into the, for now, they go into the foot spa category. Because like I say, they haven't had a lot of use. Uh, so foot spa until further notice. Okay, next up, one that I, I'm potentially going to upset a few people here. Um, so these are the True Socks. Very well loved. One of the absolute OGs. Um, and I have, so this is like the first generation of True Socks. I have the third gen somewhere. We'll get to them later in the video, which are an improvement. I don't want to dwell too long on True Socks because everybody knows kind of what True Socks are at this point. Uh, one of the first people, maybe the first people to have the internal and external grips. They don't rely on a silicon grip. They have some really great uh, grip pads that cover over the bottom of your feet, but I think the material isn't great. I think the fit is bad. Uh, and that pretty much applies across the True Socks range. They do get better as they obviously try and improve the socks, but um, the price of True Socks really irks me because you pay a lot for a sock that I don't think fit-wise is actually good enough. Um, so the True Socks are going into Nike Crew uh, because yes, quality, like in terms of performance-wise, I potentially wear them over a Nike Crew, but I actually don't think for the money that you spend that they're good enough. So we're going to put all True Socks as a as a bundle into that Nike Crew category, which is potentially going to upset some people. But I just don't think for the money you spend, the fit is good enough. Speaking of for the money you spend, boom. Tape Design. Tape Design Grip Socks. These are the bane of my existence when it comes to overcharging for a pair of Grip Socks. Tape Design get a lot of money for their socks because they are worn by a lot of pro athletes. Antoine Griezmann's been wearing them for a very long time, but this is a crew sock with grip elements added. Now it's a fairly nice crew sock. The compression across the top is actually excellent. I really like that area, but there's nothing special about this. There's really not. Uh, no grips on the inside, silicon external grips. Uh, there's nothing special about this. There's really, 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 really not and the amount that you have to pay if you were telling me these were 10 or 15 pounds or euros i'd be like cool kind of go for it give them a whirl 
But I'll be honest, like, for what you pay for them, what you get isn't good. Um, they should be so much better than this. The innovation should be way beyond what you're currently getting uh, with tape design. And for me, I think that these are, uh, these are either a Nike crew or a cheesy. I'm not gonna lie to you because the price really irks me for something that is fairly standard. Quality wise, and what you're gonna get, there may be a Nike crew, but I'm gonna put them in cheesy because you pay too much and for something and it's all sold off name. Uh, so again, that's probably gonna upset some people as well. I know a lot of people really like uh, the tape design sock. Um, I just don't think that it's good enough for the price that you pay. And that is going into cheesy. Now, I think we've been going for about half an hour already on this. So I'm gonna assume that we're gonna cut this off and we're gonna go for a, a, a part two. And by the looks of the amount of socks we've got here, this might end up being three, four different parts. Uh, so to get subscribed, if you have comments or thoughts or socks that I haven't covered, please put them down in the comments. I will get to every single pair of socks. I'll get to every single comment. The socks I haven't tried, I'll try and get them in. But this is actually like so many socks here and it's taking a fair amount of time and you probably don't want to sit through two hours worth of me talking about grip socks. So that is probably the end of part one and we will jump into part two now for me, but you'll get to see it maybe in a few days time.